Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mm -mm, kisses. My name is Rosalind and you can call me Rosie for short. So this is more of a video tip for those of you that like using jewelry like me and who doesn't, right? So in this video, I want to share how I protect my jewelry. So for example, you go to Forever 21 and you know the jewelry there is cheap but after a few weeks or months, the color starts fading or let's say those jewelry pieces that have fine stones and they start falling off. So I want to share how I protect my jewelry, that way they will last long, they will look like new. So without talking anymore, let's get started. So as you can see here, these are some examples that I have. I have a necklace, I have earrings, bracelets, and rings. I have this elastic ring with the infinity sign. And I have the eyepieces and the Hamsa or Himsa bracelet. And they all have rhinestones which I want to protect that way they will never fall out and these are two examples that I already have and as you can see from this owl ring a few of the rhinestones already fell off and I also have this heart shaped black ring I no longer use them but I'm gonna be using them as examples okay what you're gonna need is one of these two here on this side I have nail polish and on this side I have clear spray so I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each method okay so you can use either or but if you use no polish make sure it's clear and the consistency of this is thick but if this is what you only have it works good but if you have clear spray this is much better this is the method that I recommend because the coating will be so thin and clear so this is one example when I use the nail polish method, which I like, it looks good, but I wish I would have used the clear spray, that way I could see more of the detail and those stones would be more bright, they will have more sparkle. So for this example, I'm gonna be using this spray and I'm gonna use this clear spray and just follow the instructions on your spray paint depending on the one that you get or the one that you have. The one that I have you can use on wood, metal, plastic, ceramic, and other materials. So I'm gonna shake this. And I'm just gonna apply one layer. And just like that, super simple. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna apply another coat. Just like that. And all you have to do is wait 15 to 20 minutes for it to get dry. And it says that you can touch it after two hours. I'm gonna do the same with this ring. So that's it you guys, I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can protect your jewelry and that way they can always look like new. This is what I like doing, so if you have liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, you can leave me comments, you can share this video, and you can subscribe for more videos and that way you will always get a notification when I post something new. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, kisses! Bye.